Life is a big adventure, like a treasure hunt where surprises are hidden along the way. Imagine that feeling of excitement before opening a gift. That's a bit like what we're exploring today. I'm going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. There are these special signs, like little hints from God, telling us that something really great is coming our way. Have you ever felt that bubbling excitement, like butterflies in your stomach, knowing that something good is just around the corner? Well, that's what we're diving into today. These signs that God is gearing up to give us something amazing. Sign 1. Unexpected Open Doors Scripture, Revelation 3 verse 8 I've left a door open for you, and no one can close it. Think about finding a job that fits you like a favorite puzzle piece, even when you weren't expecting it. It's like a surprise gift from God, an opportunity He prepared just for you. Imagine walking through life, and suddenly, a door swings open. You didn't see it coming, but it's there, wide open, inviting you to step into something really good. In the Bible, it's like God saying, Look, I've set up this opportunity for you, and no one can take it away. So, let's break it down. Have you ever experienced something unexpectedly good? Maybe a new job pops up that matches your skills and interests perfectly, or an exciting opportunity comes your way when you least expect it. It's like God is giving you a special invitation to something amazing, saying, Hey, I've prepared this just for you, and no one can stop it from happening. That's the kind of open door we're talking about, a surprise chance that God has arranged for your benefit. Sign 2 Persistent inner peace expanded. Scripture, Philippians 4 verse 7. God's peace, way better than we can understand, will protect your heart and mind. Imagine feeling like you're wrapped in a cozy, warm blanket, even when everything around you is a bit wild. It's like a calm hug from God, telling you that something awesome is on the way. Now, let's talk about inner peace. Have you ever noticed that even when things get a bit crazy in life, there's this calm feeling inside you? It's like a comfy, warm blanket wrapping around you, making you feel safe and okay. In the Bible, it says it's God's peace, something so good that it's hard to fully understand. This peace acts like a guardian, keeping your heart and mind safe. So, here's the deal. Think about a time when everything around you was a bit chaotic, maybe school, work, or even at home. Despite all that, you felt this inner calm, like a gentle hug saying, Hey, I'm in control, and something really awesome is coming your way. That's the kind of peace we're talking about, not just any peace, but God's peace that stands guard over your heart and mind, making sure you're okay and ready for the amazing things ahead. Sign 3, Confirmation Through Prayer, Expanded. Scripture, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Talk to me, and I'll answer you, sharing amazing things you never knew. Think of prayer like having a chat with your best friend. It's like dialing God's number, and He's there to tell you incredible things you didn't even know about. Alright, let's dive into this idea of talking to God, which is what we call prayer. Have you ever had a conversation with your best friend? Well, talking to God is a bit like that. You can share anything, and He's always ready to listen. Now, picture this. God says that when you talk to Him, He'll answer, and it won't just be any answer. It'll be like discovering something really amazing something you never knew before. It's like having a cool secret revealed during your chat with God. So, imagine sitting down to talk with God, like you're sharing stories with a friend. You tell him your hopes, your dreams, and even your worries. And then, as you're chatting away, God responds, not with ordinary stuff, but with something extraordinary, something that makes you go, wow, I didn't know that. That's the kind of exciting exchange that happens when you pray, a bit like uncovering hidden treasures in your conversation with God. Sign 4. Alignment with God's Word Expanded Scripture, Psalm 119 verse 105 My words are like a flashlight for your path. Imagine having a special light guiding you through a dark forest. Well, God's words are like that light, showing you the way and letting you know that something really good is up ahead. Now, let's talk about God's words and how they're a bit like a flashlight. Have you ever been in a dark place, maybe a room or outside at night? 
It can feel a bit scary because you can't see where you're going. But, if you have a flashlight, everything becomes clear, and you feel safe. In the Bible, it says that God's words are just like that flashlight, shining a bright light on your path. It's like God saying, here's the way, and it leads to something really good. His words act as a guide, helping you see where you're headed and assuring you that the journey is full of good things. So, picture yourself in a dark forest, and suddenly, you switch on a powerful flashlight. The darkness fades away, and you can see the path ahead. God's words do the same for your life, making sure you don't stumble in the dark, and letting you know that something wonderful is waiting for you on the journey. It's like having a reliable guide, showing you the way forward and lighting up the exciting possibilities that lie ahead. Sign 5. Supernatural Resource Provision Expanded Scripture, Philippians 4 verse 19 I'll take care of all your needs, way beyond what you can imagine. Think of God as your superhero, making sure you have everything you need, like extra help with homework or unexpected money when you really want it. All right, let's break down this idea of God taking care of your needs. Imagine God as your superhero, always looking out for you. You know how superheroes show up just in time, saving the day? Well, God does something similar, but instead of fighting bad guys, he's helping you with whatever you need. In the Bible, it says that God promises to take care of all your needs, and not just in an ordinary way. It's like God saying, I'll make sure you have everything you need, and even more than you could think of. Now, think about your everyday needs, maybe it's help with homework, or you wish you had a bit more money. It's like God showing up and saying, don't worry, I've got this covered, and suddenly, you find someone offering to help with your homework or getting a surprise gift of money when you really need it. So, it's a bit like having a superhero friend who always comes through when you need them. God's promise is like a safety net, making sure you have all you need, and sometimes even more than you thought possible. It's having that superhero friend by your side, making sure your journey is not only safe but filled with unexpected blessings along the way. So, my friend, imagine life as a fantastic journey, like going on a super cool adventure with surprises waiting for you. We've talked about these special signs from God, like little hints, telling you that something really amazing is about to happen. It's like being on a treasure hunt, and these signs are like the map guiding you to the treasure, not just any treasure, but the kind that makes your heart jump with joy. As you go on this adventure called life, remember these signs are like God's way of saying, get ready for something amazing. It's like the feeling you get when you know a birthday present is waiting for you, and you can't wait to open it. So, here's the deal. Get excited, trust that good things are on their way, and keep your eyes open for the wonderful surprises God has planned just for you. He knows the perfect timing, and His gifts are like the best kind of surprises, full of love and joy. Believe in these signs, my friend. They're like friendly guides, showing you the way to fantastic things waiting just around the corner. Keep that sense of wonder, keep hoping, and get ready for the incredible blessings God has in store for you. Your adventure is unfolding, and it's going to be amazing. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, 
He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again.
Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.